What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today I have a DNA 75C to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Vicious Ant Online. It is the Duke version 2 DNA 75C PMMA hand polished clear edition. Pure sexiness right here. But before we talk about this sexiness, I'd like to give my thoughts and prayers to the peeps out of the Philippines that vape. Yes. Yeah, I know. A few days ago it was announced Philippines has banned vaping. The president of the Philippines has made it illegal. You're not allowed to vape in public. Uh, it's bad over there. No import or export or whatever they were saying. Sad times right now. Sad times right now. Hopefully this can get turned around in the Philippines. I don't know what you guys got to do. I don't know if there's any kind of advocacy there. Or I don't know what goes down there. But like I said, my thoughts and prayers to all you guys out of the Philippines. All right. So the DNA 75C Vicious Ant. It's sexy. Let's dive down. Let me show you guys this sexiness right here. We'll come back. We'll vape on it. And then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on. The Duke V2. Packaging for the Vicious Ant Duke version 2 DNA. Standard packaging that we always see from Vicious Ant. Open up the little pamphlet. Your mod will be sitting right inside here. And then inside this little pouch you will have a warranty policy. And here is the Duke version 2 DNA version. So they're going to make this in different variations. This one here is the clear PMMA hand polished. They're also going to make it obviously in the black that you see here. This one is the one that I recently reviewed. It's got the SX chip inside here. They also have a polished Ultim. They also have stab wood of this. So best way to check them all out, and they all vary in prices, would be to go on viciousandonline.com. If I'm not mistaken, the price on this one here is $350. I think that's what the price is, $350 for this. The black is $250. Stab woods are 500 and I think the Ultim is also 500 if I'm not mistaken. So we have tight brushed titanium frame. All right, so the whole frame is brushed titanium. Stainless steel is the buttons. These three buttons are stainless steel. And this badge is also a brushed stainless steel. And like I said, polished PMMA, hand polished. You can see the insides here. You can see the DNA chip. There's the other side. One thing about this, what I would have done, me personally, it would have been better. But I understand why they had to do it red. And then black wiring. Would have been nice if there was black wiring on the whole thing. Just would have looked better instead of seeing the red in there. But very nice. The, just the build quality on this thing is beautiful. And you can see on the bottom it says Titanium Duke DNA version 2.0 manufactured by Vicious Ant. This is serial number three and clear. It's the clear version. So we have our battery compartment here. Same situation with this battery compartment that I explained when I did this video for this one here for the battery is that depending on the battery size you use, not all batteries are the same. So if you strictly use, let's say for example, this is a Sony VTC 5A. So if you're a VTC 5A user, all of your VTC 5As will be the exact same height. So you only have to make the battery adjustment once. But if you're constantly swapping out batteries, different brands, you might have to get in there with your flathead screwdriver and adjust this contact, which I'll show you guys now. We'll open that up. So you can see we do have two venting holes. And this is what I'm talking about, this piece here with the screw. You can see me see it coming out and going back in. So you basically adjust for battery rattle with that. So now I'll grab my battery, put it in, grab the cap, push down, twist, locked in. And now I'm just going to do that adjustment once right about there. Seems perfect right there. All right. So that's how the battery gets installed. Grab the atomizer, put it on there. I am using the it's called the MD. This one's from Hellvape. I do have it in direct lung mode. Now, press the fire button. There's your chipset. One, two, three, four, five. 
So on the display here, let's zoom in. One thing I noticed is usually uh, Vicious Ant puts their own, uh, what do you call it? Their own like wallpapers or whatever theme. On this one here, there is no Vicious Ant theme. Kind of find it odd that they didn't put one on here. So let's go a little deeper inside here. So we have our settings. So we'll have our atomizer, puff info, diagnostic systems, and back. Then if you go on here, we have our Watts, Canthal, Nichrome, N-I, Feth, Nifi, N-I-F-E, Thal, something like that, whatever that is, 30, Stainless Steel 430, Stainless Steel 316, Titanium, Nickel 200, and back into Watts. On top, we do have our 510, all right, we have a spring-loaded 510 on here. I'll give you guys a nice up-and-close look at that Titanium. Everything is just gorgeous about this mod. The build quality on this thing is just beautiful. And the PMMA and the badge. A little liquid on there. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. You do have a lip with this one, as you can see here. You do have a lip. So up to a 24 millimeter atomizer here. I did try a 25 and it did not fit. All right, guys, and that was the Duke version 2 DNA 75C by Vicious Ant. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up-close Duke version 2 PMMA Clear Edition DNA 75C, ViciousAntOnline.com. Mike, your thoughts on this one? Okay, it's going to have basically the same cons that I had with the the Duke version 2 SX series. To where, when you're using different types of batteries, if you don't have the same battery, you're going to have to make that adjustment, most likely. Because not all batteries are the same as size. Alright, so just a little something that I wanted to mention for this one here, because it is obviously the same con. Other than that, the device itself, this is one gorgeous device. little nitpick. Would have been nice if the red, like I said, the red wiring was maybe black. I don't know. That's like personal thing, subjective thing. But uh, the build quality of the device is beautiful. Oh, another thing. I almost forgot to mention for those 25 millimeter people out there that that's what they use. This will not work for you. Strictly for your 22s, 23s, 24s on here. Well, if you got 18s and 16s, yeah, you could use it on there. Now... The finish on this, the looks, everything, I think it's just pure sexy. If you go, if you guys go on their online site, check out the Ultim one. The Ultim one looks beautiful. There's a lot of people that don't like Ultim, and there's a lot of people that just love Ultim. Ultim is sexy, and the Stabwoods, wow. The Stabwoods are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mods that they have on there. Prices on these, like I said, they're only up and close, $250 for the black. They got two different color blacks. There's a black and I think a cobalt black, if I'm not mistaken. They're 250 each. This one here will be 350. Ultim is 500 and the Stabwood is 500. Yep, it is on a pricey side, but uh, you pay for what you get. All right. All in all, I think it's a beautiful device. Pros on this. <laughs> Look at it. There's your pro that it's just sexy. It's just a sexy looking device. And for those asking, Mike, what, what's the RTA on there? You never tell us. Sometimes you just keep it a secret. I forget sometimes. I'm sorry. This is the MD RTA by Hellvape. I do have it in direct lung mode right now. I do have a full review of it on YouTube. No, the drip tip does not come with this. Don't remember where this drip tip came from. I found it in my drip tip arsenal. 510 drip tip. Threw it on there. I'm like, ooh, it looks kind of nice. I like it. I like the way it looks. I tried finding a clear... Like a clear PMMA one that was super clear just to do matchy-matchy. I'm surprised I don't have one. Or maybe like a small 510 glass strip tip. I didn't have any. I'm surprised I don't have that. I'm going to have to look for some. Maybe you guys could tell me where. I, we can't do links down there. Totally forgot. No links. You could email me or something. Let me know. But uh, beautiful mod. Vicious Ant. Vicious Ant. Um... Uh, Good luck with everything. Good luck with what's going on in the Philippines. I did talk to Vicious Ant. I asked them, "Is this gonna? How's this gonna affect you guys?" They don't even know yet. They don't know. They're still in business. They're still going. I don't think it's been implemented yet. The ban. I'm not 100% sure on that. 
I've been in contact with them and they said they would let me know what's going on. So we'll see. So thoughts and prayers to all the Philippine peeps in the vaping scene. All right. In the description below, we don't have the links for these because we're not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. But I do have advocacy links down below. As always, check them out. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.